Understanding Muscle Atrophy, a comprehensive guide. Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating topic in the English language, muscle atrophy. This term is not only medically significant but also interesting in its linguistic aspects. Let's dive into what muscle atrophy means, how it's used, and why it's important to know. Muscle atrophy refers to the decrease in muscle mass. It can happen when a muscle is not used for an extended period. This can be due to various reasons like an injury, a sedentary lifestyle, or certain medical conditions. The key point here is the loss of muscle mass, which leads to muscle weakness and reduced physical ability. There are several causes of muscle atrophy. These include lack of physical activity. This is common in people who have desk jobs or lead sedentary lifestyles. Injuries and immobilization. When a muscle is not used, such as in a cast or due to injury, it can begin to atrophy. Aging. As we age, muscle atrophy is a natural process. Medical conditions. Certain diseases like muscular dystrophy and neuropathy can cause muscle atrophy. To understand muscle atrophy better, let's look at some everyday examples. An athlete who stops training might experience muscle atrophy in the absence of regular exercise. A person who has broken their leg and has it in a cast for several weeks may notice muscle atrophy in that leg. Preventing and treating muscle atrophy involves regular exercise. Engaging in physical activities helps maintain muscle mass. Physical therapy, especially after an injury, to gradually rebuild muscle strength. Nutrition, a balanced diet rich in protein can support muscle health. The term muscle atrophy comes from the Greek words muse, meaning muscle, and atrophos, meaning without nourishment. It's a compound word combining these two concepts, which perfectly describes the medical condition. I hope this video has helped you understand what muscle atrophy is, its causes, and how it can be managed or prevented. Remember, staying active and healthy is key to preventing muscle atrophy. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.